All right, this is a follow-up on a Ford Transit van I did uh, a few months back. Um, since I put in the electrical system, the owner has now finished the interior and, and done the rest of, of the build-out around the electrical system that was installed. It's set up with a center aisle and a, a cabinet on the left, a sink in the back. She's got a, a small shower uh, down here that actually also stores her uh, bicycle. And the electrical system is behind this cabinet. So we have our electrical hub here. Um, this was done so that she could expand her wiring as, as the build-out was finished. Um, so I've, I've given a tour of this in the previous video, but the idea is that she's got um, a couple of different circuits for, um, these are GFIs that she's branched off for the right and left sides of the van. Um, so, so these GFIs are, are protecting each, each, uh, side of the van separately. And then a, a fuse for the main, or a breaker. And then we've got a battery monitor, uh, display for the, uh, solar charge controller, which is also a, uh, DC to DC, uh, battery to battery charger. Um, display for the Xantrex uh, Freedom XC2000, uh, which is a 2000 watt inverter charger. And then um, this is a Progressive Industries uh, surge protector for uh, shore power. If there were any issues with uh, shore power, that will, uh, that will take the hit and protect the rest of the system. Um, and then this, of course, is the uh, Blue Sea fuse box uh, power and ground uh, uh, DC distribution. Um, so that's all of her lights and her Propex heater and all of those things. The um, base of the system is located, this is a couch bed sort of situation. And underneath here we've got a wood box with uh, the breakers and uh, main shutoff switch. Um, and so we have uh, three 100 amp hour Renogy lithium batteries uh, and all of the equipment that all of those displays go to all wired inside that box underneath the bed. So it's nice and tucked away. And 400 watts of solar panels on the roof with a Unistrut, uh, stainless steel Unistrut uh, roof rack. Um, for 100 watt Renogy solar panels and the uh, Thule um, cargo container. So yeah, it's a really nice looking build. I love the ceiling, little decorative panels. This is the mid-roof uh, transit. So it's uh, just tall enough for her, but uh, not quite tall enough for me. Um, but uh, you know, as all of these vans are purpose built for the owner, um, motion windows on the side, max air fan on top. Um, at the same time as doing the electrical system, we also did a, uh, uh, a light bar and a brush guard, um, as well as a hitch, and also a Propex heater. Um, so we've got the propane tank there, and the Propex heater uh, sits just below the, the shelf and uh, the little air vent there. So she's got uh, propane uh, just for heat, uh, induction cooktop for, for cooking. Um, there's the, the heater controls. And quite the electrical system. She also uses the electrical for um, a, a boiling um, water heater water um, kettle um, so with that 300 amp hours and 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 400 watts of solar um, she can use a the kettle and and cook all of her meals uh, with the induction cooktop um, that sits right up here um, and still have power left over so there we go electrical system is working as it should providing lots of power for all the van life things.